What's going on everyone, Real Red Politics and welcome back to another video on my channel. Before I get into today's video, if you could take a second and leave a like, that would mean a lot. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, if you could please consider subscribing, that would mean a lot. Or if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you do enjoy this political content. Today we have a, another episode in the What Are My Thoughts series. This is a series for those of you that don't know. This is a series where I discuss different political topics, kind of go over them briefly. And I give my overall thoughts on them or my opinions. So lately I've been researching the presidents of the United States. This is the seventh video in the series, which means we are going to be talking about the seventh president of the United States, Andrew Jackson. And if you guys are curious where I do get my information from, the links are in the description below. Uh, sometimes I might have multiple links. Sometimes it's just a couple. It kind of just depends and I mainly focus on what each president did during their presidency more than kind of anything else they did in their life. So, let's talk about Andrew Jackson. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, uh, he's terrible. He was awful, right? A lot of you are going to probably say that. And I'm not going to agree because Jackson wasn't, he wasn't the best president we've ever had. But it was certainly not the worst. And granted, I'm sure the reason people are going to say well, he was just terrible is because of, you know, probably the biggest flaw he had during his presidency or his biggest mistake, which was titled the Indian Removal Act, which was later known as the Trail of Tears, which this was a bill that Jackson signed where it was to move and well, move forcibly or to force Native Americans to move from the territory that Andrew Jackson wanted to the other side of the Mississippi River, something along those lines. And the reasoning that Jackson had was so that way they could build a cotton field or build or, you know, be able to farm cotton fields and use their land. And that, um, I guess the Native Americans would be safe or something along those lines. I didn't look real, I didn't look a whole lot into it. But, it's roughly estimated that about a quarter of native, a quarter of all of the Native Americans that were a part of that um, died, and so you know a lot of that's you know kind of blamed for Jackson. And while yes, he signed it into the law, he wasn't the one carrying out the acts. Like I don't know the specific acts that went on during that era of his presidency. Jackson was in the White House; he wasn't from what I understand, wasn't physically involved with this, uh, with this confrontation, so to speak, other than to actually sign the bill into law to have it take effect. Now, granted, it was a very bad bill. It, you know, it was, it was a very, it was probably one of the darker era, uh, darker pieces of, probably the darkest piece of his presidency and one of the darker eras of the country back before the Civil War. Now, granted, that was bad. And so, I, you know, I I recognize it's bad. I don't want people going, oh, you didn't recognize it was bad, or, you know, you didn't sound like you care, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, I, you know, I do care. Like, it was a, it was a bad piece of legislation. And it wasn't good for the country. It wasn't really good for anything. And it only tightened and kind of, made tighter tension between the Native Americans and the United States. So with that, with the probably one of the bigger pieces of his presidency out the way, let's talk about some of the other things during his presidency. Let's go into some other details that people tend to miss or skip past because of the Trails of Tears incident. A couple things I want to talk about is he wasn't super big on the federal government in terms of the power that they had. He didn't, he didn't believe in an expanded federal government like someone that's it. Let's say like FDR did, for example, which he's further down the line, which we'll get to in a future video. You know, he wasn't super big on the federal government. He didn't, he believed that unless the federal government in the constitution had the power to do something that it should be limited to the states and local government. For example, there was a bill that came to his desk that he ended up vetoing called the, make sure you get this right, the Maysville Road Bill. 
and this essentially was for construction of roads and whatnot. Um, I don't, I'm not sure in what state, but it was a bill that the whole the point of the bill was for construction and other purposes that the federal government was to spend and it was to fund. Jackson believed that that should be handled by the state government and the local government, not by the federal government, because he believed that was a state issue. So his mindset was that if it was a state issue or he believed it was a state issue, it wasn't for the federal government to get involved. And he wasn't, like I said, he wasn't big on federal spending in general. Now, in the Constitution, if it said the federal government had this power, he did believe, from what I've read, that the federal government, in that sense, should be the superior power. So people are like, well, you just said he didn't, you know, he didn't believe in big government. Well, most instances, yes, unless the Constitution had specifically said the federal government has the right to use this power, I don't, whatever. And his, like I said, his mindset was, unless that's specifically stated in the Constitution, there should be, you know, the rights and everything of this kind of stuff is handled by the states. So that's kind of his mindset. He wasn't, like I said, he wasn't big. He didn't expand the federal government, really, from what I understand, you know, and he was, you know, he's a pretty strong guy. I know, I know Trump really liked him. And I have to say, you know, I'm not one of these people that is, has a negative outlook on Jackson. The, like the biggest negative outlook, actually the only really negative outlook is one, he created the Democrat, or he founded the Democrat Party, but two is the Trail of Tears incident, which like I said is was a really bad portion of it, you know, was a very bad era or time in his presidency. And kind of taking a look at some of the things that he did, he actually vetoed a second bank of the United States. He, you know, despite what Congress wanted, the majority of Congress is, I think his vice president or something along those lines, wanted him to pass the legislation for the second United States bank. And Jackson said, no, we don't need a strong central bank. He did, he believed that the power would, or that the, um, the use of the bank would be far too limited. And he felt like it wasn't fair to the people and that kind of stuff. He believed that the money should not be disclosed or should not be in a single bank. It should be spread across the state and local banks like they ought to be. And so he opposed, he was very heavily against a strong central bank and Congress had said, okay, well, you're against this. We're going to make sure that the public knows if you veto it and it's going to, you're going to have a hard time being reelected. <laughs> Well, come his re-election, he won by a landslide. <laughs> Turns out, the people didn't want a strong central bank either. And in passing, he said no. Against under all the pressure of him, Congress wanting him to pass this piece of legislation, Jackson said no, we are not going to pass the second bank of the United States. Jackson said we're not going to do that. I'm going to veto this bill. Sure enough, came to his desk, he vetoed it. And then he won his election, re-election by a landslide, which I thought was hilarious. And from what I understand, he pretty much got the country out of debt. Um, you know, being debt into different countries or whatever it had. He got a, was it like a, it was like a, some sort of, not treaty, but like a tariff or something that was signed that had, I want, once it was France, it was some foreign country too you know give them five million dollars and originally that country had agreed to but then didn't end up paying the five million dollars so, so jackson said you either pay us that five million dollars that you owe us or there's going to be an issue and then after that jackson or the united states was paid the five million dollars that they were owed by the other country so he now a lot of people who don't like tariffs probably won't like jackson because he did sign a good amount of tariffs and i don't have anything against them i think you know, when countries are making us pay more than what we're making them pay, then there needs to be some balancing. So I'm not against, I'm not against tariffs. I know Trump was super effective when it came to his tariffs. And another thing is, from what I read, Jackson didn't start a new war. You know, he was the hero of New Orleans, which people don't give enough, give him enough credit for. 
I think that was a very significant battle in the history. It shows that even when, you know, you're the quality of your of your soldiers or the quality of your, you know, of the equipment you have is not even close to being up to par with the enemy, that you can, with morale, with support, with the power of God, you can overcome, you know, a big enemy. And so Jackson was very strong in this regard. You know, he was, you know, he was very strong in what he believed in. Like I said, I think it's one of the reasons Jack, uh, Trump liked him so much. And, okay, you know, he founded the Democratic Party or whatever, you know. But he believed that, you know, liberty should be remained among the citizens of the United States. He didn't try and take liberty away from anyone. He didn't try to expand the federal government. And to kind of give my overall opinions on him, I don't think he was a bad president except for the one instant, one, you know, the Trail of Tears incident or the Indian Removal Act as it's formally known. Other than that, he was a, you know, he was a pretty decent president. Like I said, got the country out of debt. He wasn't, you know, he didn't expand the federal government. You know, he, you know, he focused on the, you know, the continuing the doctrine that um, Washington had that the federal government should be limited. You know, the power should be more among the states in the issues that regard the states unless it's specifically stated the federal government needs to do this, this, and this. And so that's kind of what he believed, and that's kind of what I have to say about him. Now, you know, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, you're a hor horrible person for liking Jackson because, you know, the Indian, you know, because it's real tears. And if, you know, those are going to be the people that, you know, skip over the past where I openly and, like, condemn the Trail of Tears incident. Like I, like I said, I specifically said this was a very bad time during his presidency but there were other things that went on that don't over you know that shouldn't be overshadowed by it by you know by that and you know i think that's something that people tend to you know do is they see one very bad time during one's presidency but there's a bunch of other good things that the president did or that the person did and they kind of overshadow that um pretty much specifically with united states presidents i granted there have been I, you know, from my understanding, there have been instances that, you know, yes, that really do need to be condemned. You know, like, you know, sure, the Fanning Fathers owning slaves, fine. You know, Jackson Trail Tears, okay. But they still did good things during their presidency. So, that's what I have to say about Andrew Jackson. And I was looking forward to making this video, and I'm glad I finally got it out to you guys. And, um, you know, this turned out to be good video i learned a lot about andrew jackson so i hope you guys did too thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like comment subscribe please 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 subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed but do enjoy the content of this ch channel or if you are new to the channel please help me reach my goal of 300 subscribers if we don't reach it this month it'll be the goal for next month so the sooner you help me reach the goal the sooner we can work up to our next goal so thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more political content coming your guys's way